All right, guys, so today I will be showing you guys a tool called the NBA 2K18 Super Modifier. And basically what this tool will allow us to do is to create, you know, better rosters. Also, it will allow us to manipulate things inside of my GM. Um, I mean, my league, you can pretty much do whatever you want, but you can... You can also use this tool for my league to edit some of the parameters that are not editable in game uh, and even edit some things in my career. All right. So this is just a preview video showing you guys what the tool will be capable of. All right. So I want you guys to bear with me. I'm going to just kind of go through some of the screens on the tool and keep in mind, I do not have the uh, the real version of the tool, the version of the tool that I have is just a preview only version for previewing. And I can only do one real change with this. Anyway, let's let's do it. We're, let's see. Let's pull it up. All right. So here's the tool. So in the background, I have a roster with Drake on the Raptors. And let's say I wanted to modify that roster so give you guys a preview here I will click refresh roster list and it will bring up every team in this roster even the hidden teams um, as you can see down here it has the prelude B team prelude a team has the hidden 2k sports teams all right so it has every team even the hidden team slots in here all right, so if we go to the right, well, actually, if I click on one of these teams, let's click on the Raptors. It brings up the roster here. All right, as you can see, all the players from the team are here. And then the guys on the two-way contracts are at the very bottom. All right, so let's just say we want to click on, let's find Drake, where is he? And actually, you can type in a name here if you type in drake it you know start to type it in and it highlights it for you and then all of his information comes up on the right side of the screen which is what we would need and so if we wanted to make any kind of changes all we would have to do is make the changes within this tool and then save the roster in the game and they will work so that's why this tool is going to be very useful for many roster makers and those who want to like make edits to their my career because my career you can't bring in rookie draft classes so you could potentially use this tool to replace all the um, rookies the generic 2k rookies um, that are created by the CPU and replace them with real people each season. But anyway, let's jump into it. Uh, I mean, it has a lot of stuff here. And I'm not going to go over each thing because the video will be way too long. You guys can just take a look at my screen. And now everything was translated from Chinese. So some of the... Um, some of the categories have a have a title that doesn't look right but that's because it was just directly translated over from english um from chinese to english anyway so this whole screen here is the player info screen and if we go to the next one we have the player attributes um now there are some buttons here that need to be translated i believe one of the buttons is like taking all your ratings down to 25 another button is making them all 99 but one of the important things here is like durability if you come to the right side like you can you can easily go through and edit all the durability i also believe you will be able to copy and paste the player attributes from one player to another so let's say we got Drake. If I wanted to copy his attributes to CJ Miles, then I could do that. Uh, let's move over. Player tendencies. 
they should there'll be a there'll also be an option to clone player tendencies so you don't have to go through each little tendency for each player all right player badges as you guys can see here um, on the far right you see like zero 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 and then you see 18 so there are 18 Hall of Fame badges equipped to Drake in this roster so if you look here you guys can have all the badges and you would click there to have it have zero badges uh, you can save the badge text is what it says but that really means save the badge data and then load the badge data so if I save the badge data from Drake then I could go to another player and then load that data and Drake and the other player will have the same badges all right let's see what else we got here um, we got player hot zones you guys can choose that and then player signature is just basically player animations now most of these uh, animations are like the shots, release one, release two, release three. Most of these, you all, they'll be what they exactly what they say they are here. But the dunks, now the dunks were translated, so some of them will look a little different. Like this one says basket pool basket. I think this is uh, like the under the basket dunks. What else do they have? Like double feet dunk. That really means like a two foot dunk. Um, yeah, you're dunking off for two feet. Anyway, I have a list of all the dunk animations. So I compiled that list myself actually for Cheat Engine. So I might have to send that over to the creator of this tool. But right now I just want him to finish the tool. And then, you know, once it's finished, then I can send over a list of things that could have better translations or whatever. Because I, I really want this tool so I can go ahead and start making rosters. All right. So here we have a player um, shoes slash gear screen. And you will be able to see the sneaker ID of a player in this version. You cannot. But in the real version, you will be able to. All right, then we're going to have player accessories. You'll be able to change that. What else? Player contract. You'll be able to change all of this stuff here and change it really easily without having to use your controller to like manually scroll through numbers or anything. All right. Now the player data, it says player data, but this really means like a uh, player stats and info. Kind of like so, like uh, a player scoring record, or the so. Let's go. Let's go to a different player other than Drake, because his is all zero. Like when I go to Demar Derozan, Derozan, his scoring record is fifty-two points. His rebounding record is thirteen. That's his personal best. All right. So then let's see. Clone player. Now I told you guys there will be options to clone things so ability clone will be like ratings you clone a player's rating um the tendencies is here where it says incline clone you can clone badges hot zones action clone is cloning the animations accessory sneaker or you can just like completely clone a player all right so that's that's it for all of the um, all of the things you can do with an individual player uh, I'm gonna stop this video here and then I'm gonna start a new video where I start to show you some of the other options that will be available with this tool all right guys thank you for viewing stay tuned um, I'll have more previews of this tool coming